Welcome to Math DCO, where not only do you need good obby skills, but also good math skills. Your goal is to make it to the end, completing countless obbies, but also countless math problems. And as you get further, everything gets harder. Let's get into it. So here I am in Math DCO. And so Ito is cooked, basically. The game's been down for like two days, and so the world is ending. So I decided to play a different obby game. And so here I am in Math DCO. And Welcome. What is up, homie? Join for the first time. Okay. And so, the thing with this, with this game is that I saw a couple of weeks ago a YouTuber make. Oh, where do you hear him? Two. Okay, well, so you already know what the uh, whole premise of this game is now, basically. It's an obby, but now you have to do math in between each stage. And you should provide a number that is greater than two. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I'm in like. I don't know, like first grade math or something? Maybe in like kindergarten math. But as we work our way up, the obby will get harder, but also the math will get harder. So it'll be pretty interesting to see whether <laughs> my math starts failing or my obby skills start failing. Which one is worse? Let's take a look. So, so you can get pretty far in this actually. There's like many different paths I'm seeing. But we all have to start from here. So we'll just keep going. And hopefully I don't get anything wrong. Anyways, going back to what I was saying in the beginning of the video, I saw a YouTuber make a video on this game, and so, pretty well, and everyone seemed to enjoy his gameplay, so I was like, hey, I might give this game a try. I'll link the video in the description, I'll put it up on the screen right now, but yeah. So I thought that video was pretty interesting, and that guy's a calculus student, so obviously he knows like a ton of math. Okay, so that was great about math, actually. Okay, so once you beat a stage, you get teleported to the next one, and you can go like, way up there. And then I'm pretty sure there's, there's, I hope there's more, or maybe that's like, Grade like 12 all the way up there. Who knows? Anyways, let's just keep going. So we just passed grade 1, and so now we're on grade 2. Okay, some of these questions have me like doubting my reading comprehension. Not even like math skills, but just like, can I read the question correctly? Find 6. 6, 7. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, the questions are pretty easy now. I am interested to see what happens when we get to like uh, calculus level questions though, because those will be fun. Oh, I just won the wrong way award. Is addition cumulative? Uh, I think so. It is cumulative. It does not. Order does not matter. Maybe I should just cut the video to the point where I get to like the really hard stuff. Because we're on like grade 3 right now. Grade 3 obby too. Um, I really want to know what happens if you get a question wrong. I might, I might do it on purpose, but I also don't want to ruin my streak. I like my streak and I'm getting a lot of tickets from it. The brand B is cheaper. Oh. Okay, I guess we got that question wrong. We fumbled, but we got a badge for it. Man, I can't believe I fumbled on like grade 3 math. This thing is actually embarrassing. Oh, and it gives you it gives you more random questions too. Like you don't even get the same. Oh, I just realized there's a calculator. Oh, never mind, there's no calculator. Meet Jimmy? Did we just meet like a paranormal activity monster or something? I feel like the obby is now getting like substantially harder faster than the actual uh, math problems are. The price of a shirt is 8 coins, so you get a 25% discount. How much will the shirt cost? 8 times 0 0.25. Uh, it would cost 6. Oh my god, I hate percentages. These percentages are like the worst thing ever. I was considering not even like trying this game because like I know the obby would get really hard before the math ever did. Triangle has three sides. Equals. Wow, I can't believe the equilateral triangle has equal sides. That might be the mind blowing thing of the century. I just realized imagine doing an obby and then like you're like cracked at obbies, right? And so like you do it, you make it all the way to the end of like a super duper hard obby and then you just get like a question like one plus one wrong or something like that. Oh no, we made it. Oh, six, seven. Let's go. How many coins do you have left? None, because you'll put it in a high yield savings account. Right? What? Now you need fractions, decimals. No, oh, this is too hard. It's just gonna be ten minutes of me complaining about that. Oh, and then you gotta make sure you do it right now, because the hobbies are actually like, kind of hard. I don't know. 
gonna do it all over again just for the second half because I know I suck more on this than the other half. Okay, so how are you even supposed to get up there? Okay, never mind. Don't worry, guys. I found it. I found it. I feel like we could. I feel like this. This is like a genuinely good like learning tool for people. Oh, look! It even tells us like the curriculum or something here. Yeah, I think. I think the obby is literally scarier than than the actual. Uh, yeah, I have no idea how to do. Okay, okay, I I got it, I got it, I got it. Wait, this is like good practice for when I do like actually difficult towers in Ito. Oh, dude. Okay, okay, I got. I I, I understand it. I understand it. Oh, dude, we almost made it, bro. Okay, okay. Man, just let me do some math, man. I don't want to be doing this. I'd rather be doing math. At least I know how to do math. Oh, we did it. We did it. There's no way we get this wrong, right? Okay, good. Now I'm actually like paranoid that you'll get something wrong. Because then you'll have to start all over again on what might have been the most difficult section ever. I like how when I finish a question, I, I don't even bother looking at like the next stage. I just start jumping and then that usually results in me just saying that I'm really good at math and then just diving off a cliff. Solve for- oh, we get into algebra now. Algebra, algebra is actually like my favorite course. Oh man, dude, ladders are actually- I hate like this type of ladder. It's actually like the hardest thing ever to do. Like half the time you don't know if you're gonna like even hit it off right. Bro, I don't understand how you're supposed to do these. Also, why do I keep- I'm able to do the first one like fine. But like, how do you do it? So you're here and then you press space. Okay, I think I understand it now. You have to kind of like wait for it to like settle and then you jump. Okay. I got it, I got it. You know, I'm still becoming- I think this genuinely will make me better at uh, Eternal Towers of Hell. Or at least when I get to the hard towers, because like... This is harder than- this is actually harder than anything I've ever done in Ito. And the good thing about this is that there's checkpoints, so even if you- Even if you mess up somehow, you'll still get- you'll get a free pass. I guess it's kind of like the practice obbies that you were telling me about, where you can practice like specific floors of Ito for like really difficult towers. My brain is not built for this at the middle of the night, which is when I happen to record literally everything. I should stop doing that, honestly. Do you guys see- it? oh, we're getting closer to the pole actually. Uh, maybe it's an achievement or something, let's see if we can land on it. Nah, we're going for that pole there. Oh, dude, we almost got it. Dude, that's gotta be like an achievement or something. Where is it? Oh, we did it. We landed on it. Do we get an achievement? Okay, so what is going on with me? Why can I not make these jumps? This is making me very upset. Genuinely, I feel like the obby is harder than- I, I know I keep saying this, but this obby is harder than anything I've ever done in the Eternal Towers of Hell. And that's just because like, there's checkpoints in here and so I can like, I can like, uh, just keep fooling around and so that's why I'm making progress at all. But if it was like Eternal Towers of Hell, I probably would have like, I probably would have been like, gone like, a very long time ago. This, right? And then just doesn't, and then you just don't jump for some reason. What the heck? Dude, how do the ladders work? Please, someone tell me how the ladders work. Okay, so which direction do I have to hold to stop my character from killing itself every time it wants to hop off the ladder? Like its first. 
the first instinct of my Roblox character is to hop straight off, but not in the direction that I wanted to go. Alright, we did it. I think that was that last jump was just my fault. Okay, I got it. So we gotta like quickly flip, flip around. Alright, we're racing against her. She's now my arch nemesis. Alright, we got it. Oh, finale. We guys, we're almost out of 8th grade. 8th grade was not this hard bro. I'd rather have taken 8th grade all over again than do this obby. Okay, so my keys just don't want to work as well. Interesting. Everything but doing the right thing apparently today. That's the theme of this video. Doing everything but the right thing. Oh, our friend just rage quit, you know. If I wasn't so close to the end, that's probably what I would be doing too. But since we're literally right there, if I could just stop doing dumb things, then we would be there by now. I was like, where are we going? Okay, there are chairs here. Why is there five there instead of pedigree? Okay. No, we're so close, we're so close. Oh. Okay. Please don't do this to me. Okay. Okay, we, we did it. I think it would just be... Oh, it's X hours, so never mind. I'm just I am just yapping out my butt. It would just be 36x. Math is not that hard. Oh, we've officially graduated from uh, middle school, and so now we're on to high school. If you guys want to see me play this game more, let me know. Um, I'm gonna stop here because we just graduated from middle school, and it's a very big accomplishment. So that was me graduating from middle school, sort of. If you want me to keep playing Math DCO, or if you have any other good obby games that you recommend. Let me know in the comments. We're so close to a thousand subscribers, so please, please, please subscribe. You won't regret it, and if you do, goodbye. Anyways, see you guys.